It's interesting in listening to you, you talk, I'm, I'm reminded both of the, um, of course, of what happened to PCs, but also the way that car companies today use platforms, um, which they use the word to mean something different. But, you know, the car industry, a platform is, you know, a set of chassis and transmission and sort of underlying kind of building blocks that then get used to generate 10 or 15 different cars. And so you have one underlying kind of base that you build your car on, but you can then differentiate in all sorts of different ways on top of that, um, that underlying platform. Um, and clearly, you know, the, the ICE and the gearbox go away and you have a completely new chassis as a result of that. Um, and you have this great phrase, the skateboard, because that's all the, what the electric car is, the skateboard. Um, and then you have differentiation on top of that platform, both in the same way as before in what the actual car is like. Um, and, you know, some of the reason that you buy this car versus, versus that car is what happens when you press the pedal. But, you know, for most people and for a lot of ways, actually, that's not the differentiation that matters. So uh, probably what is uh, uh, the news uh, is the um, user experience that we human beings are now uh, at, used to have uh, with the smartphone or, or with the, the digital world. And so uh, we are expecting a, a similar uh, act, uh, kind of uh, user experience also where we are in the car. So that, that in a way could be an impact also in the audio, video, or the displays, uh, touch, no touch, uh, that is uh, uh, coming from, uh, uh, from what, what we uh, are used to experience with, with the uh, smartphone first of all, but also tablet PC. So uh, uh, I think probably that, that is something will impact and is impacting actually uh, already the uh, design of the new cars. Mm. I mean, this, the pace of change there is always interesting because obviously you replace your smartphone every two to three years. Um, but when you buy a car you're in today, you'll probably get a new car today probably has the technology that was chosen five years ago. Yeah. And so there's an interesting kind of alignment problem for the OEMs as they kind of work out, well, yes, you don't, you're, you're never going to buy a new car every two years, um, yeah. but how do you move to a model in which the software doesn't feel like it's 10 years old when you buy the car? Um, and you know, again, part of that is about having, you know, a hardware platform that has that flexibility. Part of it is having a software platform on top of that that has that flexibility 